All right, let's get into another workout. Uh, this is our dumbbell version. This one has the potential to get kind of nasty, okay? This is a very shoulder workout. Um, we're gonna take your breath away if you're not careful how you work your way through thrusters. Um, so let's be smart about that because thrusters challenge arms. Actually, we can do a way to a thruster that saves our arms more too. So how it works out is we've got 30 alternating single dumbbell thrusters, right? So we've done those before for the people that are new, right? So dumbbell thrusters down, right? And standing those up and pushing those up to lock out at the top. Now, when we're doing a thruster, ideally, we want, when we go down, we don't want to start pushing that weight till our hips hit full extension, okay? If you start going here, you're doing this all on your arm, okay? And that's just by starting that dumbbell movement a half second too early, okay? If we wait when we get to bottom and we pop that when our hips hit extension, we're gonna get that transfer from core to extremity, right? Big muscles are gonna drive that weight, not your arm, right? So that's ideally what we want. And again, from the side, right? When we're doing this, not to a butt wink, right? We're not going down, right? We're here and we're popping it, okay? That's what we wanna do. We wanna keep a good back position and we're gonna alternate. And you can alternate those however you want. So. 30, 20, 10. When you're done your 30 thrusters, you would immediately go to the ground and chase that with 30 push-ups. See why I want you to think about that thruster movement and using core to extremity, because all of a sudden we're gonna load up those arms and those push-ups. So our push-ups, right? We're in a good position, shoulders are over our hands, doubles put tight to our body, and we're gonna do push-ups, not to failure. Please do not go to failure because this workout will get long. If you go and you push and push and push until you can't push one more, and then it takes a long time for those arms to recover, okay? So be smart on your sets to start, and maybe you can get to that last round of 10 and do a round of 10 unbroken. After you're done that, you'll take your minute, two minute rest, and you will repeat that same work again. So lots on the shoulders, especially if you are rushing those thrusters, okay? Keep your breathing while you're doing that. Uh, it's gonna go by quick. You just have to be smart about how you plan that one out. So, of course, sorry, I almost forgot. Push-ups, if we're gonna do the dumbbell version, but we can't do those full push-ups, we can stay on those knees, right? We can drive that up tight core, keeping those elbows close to body, and just pushing those out. So, not a, it doesn't look like a lot of work on paper, right? It's 240 reps, probably gonna be in that 10 minute range. So push the pace and have fun with another workout.